Hey everyone, it's Nick, and thanks for tuning in today. About a month ago, I showed you all how to use Tesla's paint correction kit to touch up any rock chips or minor scratches you may have on your Tesla, because I put a nice scratch right here on the rim of my trunk lid, and I didn't like how it looked, and I thought that using Tesla's paint correction kit would solve my issue. But as we can see, it did not. I need to do something about this. I don't like looking at it, and honestly, I don't know, do I need a disclaimer for a spoiler alert? So I have the spoiler right here in the box. I haven't even take, I, I opened it, but I haven't taken it out yet. So yeah, this is what it looks like packaged up. What I have here is the Tasmanian Model Y spoiler. It comes in a few different colors. I went with the matte black finish to match the 20 inch induction wheels as well as the chrome delete accents on the car. With the exception of this, if anybody knows what I can do about this, I need to make this Tesla logo and the one on the front matte black as well. And if you look closely, you can see that there's a 3M strip on the top and the bottom of this spoiler. And these are actually what will adhere this spoiler to the trunk of the Model Y. What I'm going to show you today is the process of how to install this and the tools you need to do so. Not a long list of things you're gonna need for this project. You need a tape measure, some painter's tape, a hair dryer, and then some rubbing alcohol to clean up the car first. In that spray bottle, I have um, some watered down rubbing alcohol. So before we do anything, I just wanna spray down the car with my rubbing alcohol, my diluted rubbing alcohol just to make sure you have a nice clean surface. Basically anywhere that this spoiler may stick to, you just wanna make sure it's clean. Now that we have our clean surface, we are going to fit test this and make sure we get this in the right place on the car. And the way to do that is to just put it on there. Yeah. It Covers up the, it covers it up perfectly though. You can't even see it. It's awesome. We're gonna measure on both sides from the edge of the spoiler to the, oh, we don't wanna scratch the car now. From the edge of the spoiler to the end of the trunk until we have an even measurement on each side. I still haven't gotten it measured yet because the tape measure was too difficult, but I went inside and inside of a toolbox, I had one of these guys. So this should make it much easier. All right, so it took a few minutes of adjusting that, but it is now centered. I have the same amount of space on each side of the spoiler. So the next step is to take this painter's tape and we're gonna mark the edges of the spoiler so we know right where it goes when we reapply it. And we're going to mark the edge right here. Like I said, we're gonna do that on both sides. Alrighty, it is time to start peeling back that adhesive. And I'm just gonna try and get this as close to the camera as I can so you can see it. And I don't think I'm doing a good job, but you're gonna wanna start peeling in one of the corners and you're not gonna wanna peel it all the way off right away in case you have to make some adjustments. So just peel it back a little bit to start and then you can finish peeling it all off once you have the final placement. I just started peeling back some of the adhesive tape and I just want to point out I almost took off the actual adhesive tape because it was a little difficult to pull off the liner here. All right, so we're gonna to wanna to pull back a little bit more. I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna set this side first. So this does take three days to actually cure and completely adhere to the car. 
All right, so one of the things I, I heard about was that you can use a hair dryer and heat it up and it'll help with the adhesion process. So I'm gonna do that quickly and finish taping it up. I got my tape all lined up. All I have to do is put it on top of the spoiler just to make sure it's locked into place. And all you wanna do is just put the tape on. I'm kind of putting it on a little tight, but like I said, I just don't want it to go anywhere. Not that I don't, I don't think it will. And just like that, we are done. And we have installed the Tasmanian Model Y spoiler. I'll tell you, I never had any intention on putting a spoiler on this car when I first got it. If it wasn't for that nasty paint mess that I made by scratching the car and then attempting to fix it, I still wouldn't have a spoiler on it. But I'll be honest with you, it is sharp. This looks good. And the matte black matches really nicely. So let me know what you guys think. Do you like it with the spoiler? Would you have gotten a different color? They have carbon fiber, white red i mean there's a bunch of stuff i'll put a link to the spoiler in the description below as well and um let me know what you guys think i hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're enjoying all the rest of the videos on my channel hit that subscribe button while you're at it that way i can continue to bring you great tesla content we'll see you on the next one all right well see how this fits